Hello everyone, welcome back to another video here on 111 Brick Reviews 111. My name is Joe and I am doing a video that I've wanted to do forever and I finally have been able to do it. And uh, I apologize for the um, sort of makeshift um, sort of thing, but this is just, it's something I've wanted to do forever, ever since this line. You know, I love superheroes, I love everything that Lego's done with superheroes, there's just so much. And um, as an avid fan, obviously, um, I just, I, I had to do this video. I've wanted to do this video for so many years, but I just kept, they kept adding more sets and more sets, and I just had to get them, and I stopped reviewing the sets, so I stopped making any money back from it. So I just, you know, the investment part of it, obviously, in the business, um, once you get older, anyways. But um, I had to buy them as they were on sale and this and that. Some of them I bought right off the bat. Some of them I got really good deals on. Uh, this year, these sort of sets I bought uh, early and all that stuff um, for reviews and stuff. And then towards that back wall, all the way down, I just, this is sets I just bought on my own. Uh, obviously, you guys know that uh, you can probably tell from my channel which sets I kind of cut off. I kind of stopped at the Age of Ultron sort of stuff. I reviewed some bits and pieces in there, but not everything. But without further ado, I have the uh, official collection of every single superhero set ever made, minus, um, these are like baseline sets, so it's minus, you know, Mighty Micro, San Diego Comic Con, um, Build a Figs, that sort of stuff. This is just a standard set that you can get uh, from any retail store or the Lego store. Obviously, you know, I have five sets that were Lego store exclusive that you can kind of see in this frame here. The Arkham Asylum, the Tumblr, the Helicarrier, the Batcave, and the uh, Hulkbuster there. But anyways, let's dive in deep. So, uh, I was on a chair there, but I'm going to kind of just show it around. So, the way I kind of did it was throughout, through the years. So, um, it'll kind of tell the story of Lego superheroes throughout the years. And I'm in my old bedroom. I moved out. But, um, yeah. So anyways, it's I sort of, so I did it by year, not by theme or anything. So we have the very first wave here that came out in 2012 officially, but they came out in 2011 during the winter months. Um, so these are really cool. That was a Toys R Us exclusive right there, the Dynamic Duo Funhouse Escape. Um, and then we kind of move up. I kind of mixed 2013 and 2012 a little bit. Just because of, you know, space, so that's what the Iron Man 3 is. But that Doc Ock set, that was a Target exclusive, I believe. Um, I could be wrong. But uh, we have the very first Lego Marvel sets ever. Uh, from the very first Avengers movie. And then we also have the X-Men set, the one of two that they've made um, since the conception of Lego superheroes. Um, and then we have the Iron Man 3, kind of going into 2013, the Man of Steel stuff. And uh, just scrolling the wrong through. And then they made their very first uh, Lego exclusive set, the Arkham Asylum, one of my very favorite sets. Um, met the designer of that set. Uh, met the designer. He designed a lot of the sets in this bunch. Um, very cool. And then we kind of move along into 2014. There's the second um, X-Men set ever made, the the X-Men vs. the Sentinel. Very, very cool set. I was very excited about that one. Uh, back in the day and then we kind of have like you know they were kind of doing a huge thing with adding batman characters and just expanding on the marvel characters with the marvel's avengers assemble cartoon you can kind of see that through there um a lot of the old ones were the ultimate spider-man sets um as you can see there and kind of expanding upon that and then they made another um lego store or like lego exclusive um set and that was the Tumblr, and that was a really cool one. So they did one for the movie, came with really good figures. Um, the first two they did were DC, and then um, the next one that they did in 2015 is Marvel, but we'll get there in a second. Uh, this is really cool wave. Of course, we have the Age of Ultron sets in the 2015, and um, one really cool wave in the DC that came out was the Justice League stuff that kind of matched up with the Lego Batman 3 video game that came out, all these really fun characters, and just over the top and then you have like the fun house or what joker land sorry that has like all the teen titans and it was just it was really cool um some really cool advancements in the lego sorry the lighting there in the lego world so and then the first ant-man set which i believe was a walmart exclusive um of course and then there was the that was that set the brainiac attack which was that an exclusive if i'm gonna go out and let him say it was a target exclusive 
Uh, I heard wrong. And of course we have the helicarrier down there. Uh, very the biggest box I think out of everything here was the helicarrier. Of course it's the biggest set with almost three thousand pieces, and then of course the tumbler has eighteen hundred. The Hulkbuster has thirteen. Um, 2500 for that bat cave. So yeah, it's the biggest one. Of course, it's a micro scale. Uh, so the piece count's going to be a little higher on that. Um, so, and then we have the 2016, oh, whoa, the 2016 sets. Come on, because of the stupid light. Um, the set's gone down, and then sort of the different Marvel movies. This is, was this a year that they made one for every Marvel movie? I think so. I think this is the one where they started, yeah, because they did the um, one set for Doctor Strange, and then um, Civil War, obviously, and then the one-off Batman set right there, and then the weird, they just made like weird onesies and twosies of things for DC this year, um, of course, because they had the BBS stuff, which is really cool sets, and then they have this giant one down here, that one's a fun set, that one's still in its box, a lot of these ones from this wall down are still in their box. Um, these ones, they're in their box, but they're pieces. And then there's a few empty boxes throughout here that are sets that are still in the basement. But anyways, and then we have the 66 Bat Cave, which took me a minute to get. I think I got it like a year or so after it came out, but um, that one's definitely cool. I think that one's gone now. And then you have that little 2017 sets that Marvel or Lego did, and it's like, why? Um, they're little Avenger sets, Red Hulk, She-Hulk, um, Red She-Hulk, those are cool figures, but kind of really dumb sets, I don't know. But uh, And then they did a Wonder Woman one-off set. Uh, the only DC movie set that they didn't make was, um, I guess you could say Batman Begins, because they have that um, right there with the bat, and then they made uh, Man of Steel, Dark Knight, BVS, Wonder Woman. So Suicide Squad, I think, is the only one that they ever made. Um, but because we have the Justice League ones right there and then the Aquaman one, but we'll get to that. Uh, so we have 2017, we have like the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, Spider-Man Homecoming, Thor Ragnarok, and of course Justice League, and now we're getting into 2018 with Black Panther, Infinity War, and then the really cool Hulkbuster that came out this year that I had to get. That one's really cool. I'm glad I got that one. Um, and then of course all the Infinity War sets, um, that was really cool. I got amazing deals on those ones. Um, amazing, amazing deals. Um, and then we have the new sort of Justice League wave that came out at the beginning of this year that had a lot of really cool figures in it, uh, like Cheetah and Firestorm and Killer Frost and Reverse Flash and Lobo and Crypto, really cool. Um, and of course we have the, I could not find this for the life of me. I had to go to a Lego store to get the new Ant-Man set, Ant-Man on the Lost set. And then finally we have like DC's new sets um, with Batwoman and um, Bat-Hound Ace. And then the Aquaman set. So, yeah, wow. There's just so much in since 2011. Um, you know, Lego superheroes I really love. And I'm, I'm, I know and understand that this video would be a lot cooler with all the sets out and, you know, seeing all the minifigures, but, um, you know, that's why I was envisioned it as a kid, but if you look at this, there's over a hundred sets right here, um, so that's really hard to get together, especially in my situation right now, so I hope this is really cool to show off, um, of course, you know, I'm just, I haven't made a video in a while, and then this is just one I've always wanted to do, you know, I've got all these sets, I could have reviewed them, but that's not what I wanted. Uh, I know it's in my name, I know that's what I did, but um, this is something that I really wanted to do. Uh, I wanted to do this video, uh, mainly because it's just so cool. And I'm not showing off, um, you know, it's it's just, it's really cool to have this. Anyways, I'm going to get this video up. I hope it was really cool. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, which one is your favorite set? I'll tell you that. And um, hopefully, like I said, I'm missing the, you know, the micro mini micros and stuff. I was not going to get those. I'm not counting those um, in this batch, but hopefully you guys enjoyed. Please, if you did, uh, let me know and let me know what your favorite superhero set is. I'm sorry I've been absent, but I hope this video um, is well worth the years of wait. And um, it's just really cool to have all these sets together. Um, I don't have an exact count of how many superhero or how many DC and how many Marvel sets there are, but I think it's over. Is it like, I think it's over a hundred. I think it's 104 or 105. 
But anyways, yep, that's where I'm going to leave it, guys. I hope you all enjoyed. I hope you did. Thank you, and I'll see you whenever. Bye, guys.